What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sean DZ back with another video. Oh yeah, brother. And today I brought you guys the on. That's right. On. It's got two ends, so you gotta do on. Not just on, but on. Come on, man, feel me. Let's <laughs> let's take a look. And before you get in the comments, YouTube, yes, I have read the reviews of this thing. You're 100% I have. So here's what I've done. Uh, and I think it's smart. You may not, but I did. So what I did was bought a refurbished one. So whatever's going to happen to it has already happened to it. And now they put the better replacement part in it. So hopefully it's uh, better than the original. Uh, because the original had a lot of failures according to the reviews online but I bought this sap sucker from Walmart it's normally a $250 projector uh, but I got it for $56 I believe was the price uh, again this is the refurbished one and my thought pattern here was if I get it uh, They've already replaced the broken piece, uh, so now they put new piece in. I'm hoping that's what happened. I don't know that to be true or not. However, this thing has worked great for me. Uh, I have another proje uh, projector that is uh, 480p. Uh, this is 1080p, and you do notice a big difference between the two. Uh, my other projector, uh, it's just not as crisp, not as bright, not as clear uh, as this one here. Uh, the sound is good on it, has speakers built in, uh, you have the controls at the top, uh, you also have a built-in Roku box. So again, I paid $56. Roku by itself is roughly $49.99, so 50 bucks. So uh, I got one, came with this, I can take it out of this and plug it into my TV if I would like. I would have got the projector for 6 bucks. And on the front here, uh, you have your um, RF sensor here. You have a speaker up front. Uh, you also have this uh, pretty decent uh, lens cap and then you have the actual lens there. Uh, on the bottom, you have four adjustable feet that you just screw to adjust there. If you wanna adjust the height. On the side here, you have the uh, removable base. On these bays, guys, it's just a filter under there to keep dust and stuff like that out. You see? There's also a filter in the back here, as you'll see, guys. This filter here. You just remove, just like on the side, you would just remove this, and that's how you get to the filter. It also comes with its own remote here. Uh, you guys see the buttons there, simple and plain, just power mute. Uh, I got your directional pad, okay. You can flip the screen up and down, return home, uh, volume up and down. Uh, it comes with the battery, so that's good for both remotes. Uh, it comes with the Roku remote. You guys are familiar with that if you've ever used Roku before. Uh, you also have on the back, you have uh, USB one. HDMI 2, HDMI 1, and you have the audio visual uh, AV port, you have the headphone jack, uh, you have an infrared sensor, and you have the VGA for your computer monitor if you wanted to use that. You also got your keystone here, and then you got your uh, DCN, which is your power. Down here at the bottom, you guys will see that that's the Roku stick that's actually plugged in. From my understanding and reading of the instructions, uh, it says that uh, it usually only works here on this one because you have to plug it into this USB port to get enough power to power the Roku stick. So that's what I did. Uh, one thing I did notice here is that with the Roku stick, there is a little uh, pop. Uh, when you're not into uh, shows or what have you, like if you're in the menu, there's a little pop. Uh, through the speakers not sure where that's coming from I haven't unplugged the Roku and plugged it into something else to see if it's just coming from there but if the projector is just on the main screen there is no pop coming from the speakers only when I'm using the Roku so 
uh, that is one thing to look out for, but I suggest that you go get you one of these for $56. Uh, I'm sure that they'll go fast once this video drops, but this thing will display up to like 110 inches. And this is a projector that you can take with you. Um, I haven't had it in a long time, but I took it on a roll with me a couple times. You'll see the little dings here and there, what have you. And I don't care. Uh, it's not too big of a deal because it's not uh, a big price. It's not a big cost associated with this, uh, but there is uh, value in it. And, and I have to say uh, the Roku alone is value enough for me uh, for it be a no brainer to be able to get this bad boy. But this is by the On brand. I know you've seen those at Walmart before, but On so this is it guys. I would recommend that you uh, grab you something like this. If it ain't this one, look how big that is. This thing is huge too. That's what she said, but this is a lot larger than the one that I had. Uh, as far as like loud, uh, the fan in it is, um, it's not as loud as my smaller one. Uh, it's, a, it's a little quieter. Um, and the fan constantly runs you can hear you can tell that it's on but it's not overwhelming and it's not over at the top of your music or your movie or whatever you got playing uh, on your projector uh, you also have your buttons at the top here don't forget about those so just in case the you lose the remote or the battery goes dead um, you have your touch buttons here so you got your power on and off, but you still got your okay up and down. And these are touch, not physical buttons, but these are actually touch buttons in your menu over here. Um, so yeah, that would be really nice to use. I hadn't used those yet because I always had a remote with me. Uh, I have a little carrying case that I put this kind of stuff in uh, and I keep it all together. So when I move, it moves just like that. That's a ludicrous reference. Yo, it's been really fun though, guys. Uh, let me know if you got any questions about the on um, projector. This is just a quick video. Uh, I will bring you guys a full review if you're interested in seeing that, but just let me know in the comments. Uh, tell me what you want to see in that video. Uh, I know picture quality is one of the things that you may want to see. Maybe how uh, the sound quality on this thing is. Uh, let me know. After all that, again, I recommend that you go get you one of these little on boxes. Uh, only if you're paying $56. If you're paying $200 for it or more, uh, please don't do that. Uh, it's a nice box for $200. Uh, just the reviews say it's not reliable enough for $250 or $200 even. Uh, again, $56, it's a deal. You get that Roku uh, as a bonus in there. Uh, if you wanted one of those anyway, it would have cost you $49.99. Get you one uh, with a projector to come with it. Yo, again, um, let me know if you need anything. Again, this is your boy, uh, Sean Deasy. Uh, and I'm out. Peace together. No separate. Al Holler.